I think of art as something that allows us to communicate with each other and to connect with each other as human beings. In the case of ceramic art, the connection is as old as the clay pots unearthed in archaeological digs and as broad as the many cultures that embrace and use the medium of clay. And I like that sense of continuity to history. It's a very human kind of activity. Um, almost any culture made clay things because it's found, clay is found throughout the whole world. The ability to create art from clay is celebrated and preserved at the University of Dallas. Ceramics artist Eva Kwong served as juror for the 2015 Regional Juried Ceramics Competition hosted by the university. Normally there's probably 300 pieces that the juror has to judge and out of the judging of that they generally take somewhere between 50 and 65 pieces. The level of craftsmanship and ideas here is really quite wonderful. As a highly so respected artist I'm herself, gonna... Kwong appreciates the process inherent in creating beautiful work. All this represents a lot of work, a lot of trial and error, a lot of experimentation, and a lot of effort, you know, a lot of work went into before they could achieve what they achieve. Kwong says she hopes visitors will see the results of that artistic effort in the work she selected for the show. So I try to look for things that are well made, for example, so I think craftsmanship is important, whether it's a small thing or a big thing, whether it's functional or not functional, whether it's sculptural. I try to look at for things that is um, as well made as it could be, you know, so let's say a jar, the lid should fit, you know, if it's a cup, you know, the handle should be comfortable. You know, if you're making an elephant, it should look like an elephant, that kind of thing. This competition is one way to keep ceramic art alive and thriving. For me, and those that have been able to see the show previously, you get to see the way the artist is finding their voice and how they're able to grow and mature that voice. It's really, it's really quite a marvelous thing to watch. This is Kathy Whiteman reporting.